Welcome back everybody for our quick little tips and tricks on Don't Starve Together. As we adventure into the constant, we wanna know what we can do with our tools that we get. So let's go ahead and start talking about that. But before we do, my name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. As always, let's get started on something interesting. The pan flute. We just acquired it two minutes ago on a previous video, but let's go ahead and talk about what we can use it for. As I mentioned before, there's lots of enemies in DST, but there's also some friends that we want to obviously have a little conversation with. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and spawn myself in a little trusty little spear just for the sake of this video as we start talking about what we can use it for. What does the pamphlet do? Well, it has a range, as you can see here, which will basically indicate how far out, which you will not see this unless you have the inside mod. Let's just clarify that. The inside mod is a mod that basically tells you the range of things, how long, how many, uh, any more uses it has, etc., etc., etc. But without this, you're not going to know how far it goes. But nonetheless, let's just get into what I'm here to talk about. You have characters and creatures that walk around and a lot of ones that want to attack you and some that just want to just live their life. So let's start with birds. Essentially speaking, what a pan flute does is this. Upon using so, a said creature will fall asleep around you and even if you walk up to it, it'll sleep until it's designated time to wake up, which gives you enough time to basically go up and attack it. The pan flute should honestly be used in emergency cases unless you have an ample amount of mandrakes to create more pan flutes, which yes, mandrakes are limited and don't serve together. When I say limited, I mean in the fact that finding them is very limited, which can only be found in certain biomes in DST. We'll get further into that another day. But for now, just know that the pan flute should only be used in emergency cases, or if you obviously are just using it to sneak up on an enemy or making an enemy fall asleep. So let's just say hypothetically there was a friendly little bearger and I use bearger friendly obviously there is no such thing as a friendly bearger all beargers are grumpy but sometimes obviously there is a cute little bearger walking around and this one's a little cutie isn't it as this bearger decides to waltz around and I get closer and I'm like hello bearger how are you doing today and I accidentally you know trigger to make sure that it gets angry at me well what am I going to do next. Bearger is probably one of the creatures that you don't want to put to sleep, but for the sake of the video, let's go ahead and showcase the animation time of said pan flute. As a bearger approaches me, I decide to make it fall asleep, and I run away, and I get away scot-free. Keep in mind, when the bearger wakes up, it's going to use the pan flute effect on myself, and so you want to be a little bit cautious with that. Yes, when the bearger wakes up, it's going to essentially use the pan flute effect on all other characters. We'll talk about that in another video too. So yes... The pan flute can be used on pretty much anything that is around you that's an enemy. No, you cannot use it on other friends or or whatever that are in the server unless you have PvP enabled. Yes, you can play them the pan flute for other friends with your PvP enabled. So if you go into a server that has PvP enabled, well, you're going to be able to put them to sleep. And that's that. Essentially, what you're doing is basically putting um, NPCs or whatever around you like creatures and things like that asleep so they don't attack you or maybe you do want them to attack you so you're basically getting them ready to fall asleep uh, and as you can see that one spider over there didn't get affected and as you approach the spider still sleeping hello little spider i can push you hug you you know kiss you and then basically run away from you at the same time so yeah you got to be a little bit cautious because the pan flute can get you in a little bit trouble there's a lot of people that like to use the pan flute for what it is and that's obviously for the case of you know emergencies like i said only things are basically going to be needed uh, and i usually suggest somebody that knows how to use it essentially get it first things first but if you're beginning in dst and you actually want to get used to using it feel free to use it all you want especially if you're beginning to start playing don't serve together you want to learn how to use these things especially Especially if you're going to die and the world's going to restart anyways and look hey look a mandrake we were just talking about that as we get ourselves a trusty little mandrake of course we can run around and we can try to chase it down and eventually kill it making ourselves another little tiny pan flute now we obviously need a few things in order to make ourselves a pan flute oh my gosh these mandrakes are so annoying to get and no do not i would not suggest using <laughs> i would not suggest using a uh what's it called oh there we go get up get back up get back up there we go I would not suggest cooking a mandrake and eating it as is. I would suggest keeping the mandrake because it'll never spoil and eventually using it to make another pan flute down the road. And that is that. So yes, go around, use the pan flute, but use it cautiously because yes, you only do get 10 uses from it. And when it's gone, it's gone. There is no repair in the pan flute. You're not able to get it. 
but keep in mind, leave it at 10% because in another video, we're going to showcase how to keep this pan flute basically infinite. But for now, we'll keep it simple. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. Go out there, make things fall asleep and play some awesome music from your little pan flute.